This is definitely gonna have to be a two-part video, I think. I'm back. Sorry for being gone for so long, but I'm back, so I'm gonna start posting again. again. I hope you like this video. Thanks for still being here. Bye. Okay, well, I'm gonna start off this video with. Um, this Catwoman and Batman, Batman and Catwoman, I guess I should say, um, comic moment pop. I got it off the GameStop website, um, I don't know, a few months ago for like $15. It's a pretty awesome pop. Let's get it unboxed here. Now this is probably one of the coolest Batman and Catwoman pops I have. Um, I love the vine designs and I love, love, love her goggles and I love the way that like Batman's looking down on her. It is a little kinky looking if you ask me. Um, I wish there was a little bit more detail to the Batman. Like I wish his suit like was actually like painted because it's just black. Um, but I, I guess I get what they were going for here. There's the vines on the bottom. I would say 10 out of 10 pop. Okay, next up we have the Hot Topic exclusive DC Bombshells Joker. That was a mouthful. Um, I have most of the Bombshell collection. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at this cute little logo with Harley. Oh my god. Um, I do have most of the Bombshell collection. I do need Dula Dent and I do need... There's another Joker I think that I need. I just don't remember what it is. Alright, let's get them unboxed. I love the colors on this pop. The pink and the green go well... go together so well. Um, his teeth are so yellow. <laughs> Um, I do love that on his hat it says the Joker. That's a neat little detail. I love the little kisses. Oh shit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like this is a sailor outfit I'm assuming, right? I don't freaking know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool pop. I did pay, what did I pay for this? Focus. Twelve fifty. Oof. I'd say it's worth it. <laughs> so this next one I picked up at a local thrift store. I got it for, I think it was around um, $13, I think. Um, I always wanted this one, but I didn't want to pay a lot for it, even though I have like most of the other ones except for Batman. Um, it is a Jim Lee GameStop um, comic moments I think? or No, it's DC Collection by Jim Lee. Duh. Um, so what he does is he takes comic covers like this one and turns them into pops. So let's open them up. This is literally the most detailed Funko Pop I've ever seen like down to the parademon this necklace that he has hanging around his neck the chain that wraps from this arm all the way down to his hand the belt oh my god everything like even these rocks have detail on them like that's insane um like I said I did pick this one up for I think it was like um $13 I don't on it it was around there um like even the parademon have even has like legs and shit that's 
<laughs> I don't know. I just, this pop is just so insanely detailed to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would suggest definitely going to uh, secondhand stores or thrift stores um, that sell things other than like clothing because there's so many people that sell collectibles and they don't even know like the real value of them um i got count dooku for my boyfriend the same day i got this and it was like in perfect condition like it was a little dusty but we can take care of that ourselves but like it's insane like this pop retails at the store i think for 30 dollars and i got it for 13 so check it out Okay, guys, this pop right here is my shit. This was a gift from my boyfriend um, for my birthday, I think it was. I don't remember. Um, I have all of the Birds of Prey except like for the collection, except for the specialty series Harley, which I was supposed to get from my local comic book store, but... Since Miss Corona wants to mess everything up, you know. Uh, and they don't have the box lunch Harley. But this, oh, I love it. I do wish that he did have his mask. Um, because, I mean, he's black mask. But I guess this one just says Roman Sionis, so that's cool. The boxes, I love these boxes. Like, honestly, they're so... I don't know, just different. I love the holographic backing. Good. Beautiful touch. Beautiful touch. Alright, let's open them up. I love, like, his stance here. Like, the hand in the... On the front. That's not his lapel. No, your lapel's up here. Whatever. Um, he just, like, hand in the pocket. Just standing so swaggy. Like, he knows he's just the baddest, you know? Like I said, I do wish... He was wearing a mask of some sort. Um, oh shit, I almost dropped this one too. What the fuck? So, focus. The detailing on the uh, suit is so nice. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about him other than like this pop is sick. Um, but for a chase variation, I wish it maybe was just a little bit, I don't know, different. I mean, the other one is just the white suit, like, same stance, everything, same face. I just wish there was a mask. But, oh well. Okay, next up, we have the 2020 Spring Convention exclusive DC Heroes Zatanna. Although... Emerald City Comic Con was cancelled because of the, um, you know, Miss Corona who wants to fucking ruin everything. Um, sometimes I don't get how, like, this stuff gets so dusty. It's so crazy. Oh, hey, there's my face. <laughs> um, this is a, oh, this pop is so sick. I can't wait to take it out and show you. Oh my god, why is there more dust from last time I rolled around? <sighs> Alright. Let me take her out. All right, here she is, Miss Zatanna. I love the little detail of the fishnets, the thigh highs. Her whole outfit is just on point. Like, the top hat makes this pop so heavy. Here's her little earrings, magic wand. Let's... Look at her little outfit. It's so perfect. I love this pop so much. I'm so glad I got it. Um, I'm pretty sure this was the Hot Topic shared exclusive. Um, I don't quite remember. Um, all I know is that Emerald City was cancelled due to the coronavirus. Um, fingers crossed SDCC isn't cancelled because I can actually go this year. Um, but yeah, I mean this pop is so sick. I think I got it. Let's see. Oh, there's no price tag, so that's cool. <laughs> Must have been free. <laughs> okay, so this is my pop of Patty Jenkins. I got it off of Hot Topic's website. Um, 
a few weeks ago, I think now. Um, I adore this pop. I adore Patty Jenkins. She's someone that I look up to quite a bit. Um, this box is like, I love the little details. Like there's a little Wonder Woman header there, which I didn't notice until just now. Um, here, let me spin it around here. I, this pop looks so much like Patty Jenkins, it's insane. Like, oh, I love it. Diana fighting off the something in, I, I can't really read it that well. I don't have my glasses on. There's her name, Diana, again. But uh, it's, I don't know, this pop, it's very special to me. Let's open her up. Like I said, this pop is really detailed, like even down to the sneakers, this outfit, I love it. I love, like, you look at this pop and you, like, I at least see Patty Jenkins, like, the hair is perfect. And I wish they would officially make a Zack Snyder one so I could have them together because they're, like, my two favorite DCEU directors. Um, but yeah, I mean, this pop is, it's perfect. I love it so much. I'm so glad I was able to get this. Um, but yeah, I, I, there's not much else to say other than I love it. Next up is the, um, 2020 Spring Convention Boba Fett. Um, this was a shared exclusive with Target. Um, I did, I was able to pick up one for me and one for my boyfriend. Um, they did come in hard stacks, which I thought was really cool, but I'm not using the hard stack for this one. Um, it did come with a little rip in it, and I didn't notice that because it was in a hard stack before I bought it. Um, other than that, the box was really good. Let's open them up. Okay, here he is. Um, I know that there's a certain artist that did, like, a line of these. For Star Wars, I don't remember what their name is, but this is the one I wanted really bad. Of course, it's Star Wars, so it does bobble. Um, yeah, I love the design. I love the dent in the uh, helmet there. Other than that, it's a pretty basic Boba Fett body. Um, it's black. I do love the box a lot, actually. I love the matte box with the Mandalorian logo on the back. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sick pop. Um, it was pretty expensive, I think. Let me see. Doesn't have a price tag on it. But it was a pretty expensive pop. Um, I did end up getting one for me and my boyfriend. His is over here. He still has his in the hard stack, but I took mine out. Um, and I will show you what pop I put in it at the end. Okay, here he is, Stephen King. This is the third to last pop I'll show you guys today. Um, I love it. I love like the bloody hatchet, the book obviously. Um, this is a Barnes and Noble exclusive. Um, my boyfriend and I actually were there I think the day that they were putting these out. Um, here's his portrait. It has... I can't quite read it. Like I said, I don't have my glasses on because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a few people there that day to pick this pop up so I'm thinking it was like pretty sought after by um, Stephen King fans. Um, I do love his movies, his books, um, I haven't read all of them, but I've read a few, Salem's Lot is my favorite, um, so yeah, let's open them up. I actually haven't opened this one yet, so this will be fun. This is so cool, the blood is so red. I did not expect it to be that red. I love pops that also, like, have glasses too. Um, let's see if the, book's, the book doesn't say anything. Um, yeah, the hatchet is just so cool. I love this pop so much. Like, it seems rather simple, but I love it. The, I just, the blood is so cool. Um, I have a Carrie horror pop from her movie that the blood is also, like, super red and I love it. Um, but yeah, here he is, the king of horror, Stephen King. I love this pop so goddamn much. The Marvel 80 Year Collection is probably one of the best pop collections I've ever seen, really. Like, at least an anniversary series. Um, I have quite a bit of Marvel 80 Year. I have Scarlet Witch, I have Marvel Girl, Black Widow, Cyclops, what else do I have? I think that might be it. My boyfriend has a quite a bit too. 
but I just love the classic looks for these pops. I wish DC would do like a, I know they do like the um, Superman number one and all that, but I love it when they put like what comic um, the first appearance came from. So this is the first appearance of Elektra in, what does that say? Daredevil 168. This is Electra. Once he loved her, now she is his most deadly enemy. Us, the drama. I love it. Um, but yeah, I haven't taken this one out. There is a little like restraint in there, so she, I don't know, doesn't fall forward. So I will take that off and we'll open her. Okay, here she is. 80 year first appearance of Electra. Um, it's Marvel, so you know it does do the bobble. I'm not really a big fan of the bobble on Funko Pops. I know that's kind of like what they started as. I'm not, I don't know, not a big fan of bobbles. Um, I love her little side blades she has right there. The outfit, I love the all red outfit. I think that is beautiful. Um, I love her hat here. I don't think it's called a hat. I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I love, oh, let me get some more light here. The red of her outfit just pops so well. Um, I do have the, um, focus. <laughs> I do have the Electra from the Daredevil TV show. Um, that's also a really cool pop, but her outfit is red with, not red, um, black with red accents. And I don't know, there's just something very iconic about a red outfit. I honestly cannot believe that I have this pop in front of me right now. Like, I know it's not like an exclusive or anything, but if you guys know me from Twitter or Pharaoh or real life, um, you'll know that Man of Steel is my second favorite, probably movie of all time. I don't know if that's dramatic. Um, but it means so much to me. Um, this Henry Cavill as Superman means a lot to me. <laughs> Literally, this interpretation, this um, iteration of Superman is very near and dear to my heart. I love Zack Snyder and I love his um, take on the Justice League, on these characters. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, but this pop is like really special to me. Um, this is the hard stack I got from the Boba Fett pop, um, but I'd rather have it in here because this pop is pretty damaged, as you can tell, the box at least. Um, so yeah, let's open him up. Okay, here he is out of the box. Um, let's move him more into the light here. Um, the paint job, I mean, this is such a detailed pop for being like an older one. You can see the S there, um, the texture in the suit. Um, the paint job isn't 100% perfect, like there are smudges, there are this and that, but it is an older pop, so I'm fine with that. I did get it off of eBay for, oh, what was it? I don't know, around 20 something. She did give me, the seller did give me like $8 extra off because of the damage that she said she didn't see, which is cool, so. Um, I might save this guy for a giveaway and buy myself um, a little bit better conditioned box one. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's my Superman. <laughs>